Hey guys, I have caught temporarily an Eastern Hercules beetle. Come up and give them a close up. Get really, really close so you can see how big this thing is. It's larger than my thumb. Okay, this is a female. I'm gonna tell you how you can tell here in a minute. Um, so guys, you can see I got my SUV behind me and I'm working on some firewood. I was just, it's 93 degrees today, but I was splitting firewood at the neighbors anyway because he's had like five or six trees come down trying to get it over here and dry it up before winter. But uh, I was right there and I heard something scratching in our hen house, which is way over there. Can you give them a shot, honey? Which as you can see is like 35 yards away from where the car was. And we've got a hen sitting on some eggs and I thought maybe the chicks had hatched and they were scratching around in a box. Well, I went over there and this is what was making the noise. This beetle's so big, it was scratching around in there in the water, uh, we have a milk jug we cut in half to put water in for the chickens and it was trapped. It was on its back trying to turn itself over. So anyway, Eastern Hercules beetle, this is a female. The males are similar in appearance, but they have two big horns, one here and one here that actually can get two and a half inches long. They look like rhinoceros horns. And the reason why is because the Hercules beetle is a member of the rhinoceros beetle family. It's one of the largest beetles in the world. Now, Hercules beetles are indigenous to rainforest type areas like in South America um, and whatnot, south of the equator, on the equator or south, but the Eastern Hercules uh, beetle lives, of course, on the East Coast. We're in Virginia, Zone 7. If you're a gardener and you like to grow, we're in Zone 7. Um, so this is one of the largest beetles, not only in Virginia and on the East Coast, but it's also one of the largest beetles in North America. So. We are fascinated by all forms of wildlife. And you're probably thinking, well, why is this guy making a video about a bug? Well, it's just because bugs are wildlife, insects are wildlife, and it all fascinates us. And we've been here almost three years, and this is the biggest beetle we've found on our homestead. So we're gonna release it to the wild now. And by the way, they eat wood, they eat decaying wood, so they're gonna love the wood pile, or this girl's gonna love the wood pile. I'm gonna turn her loose over there so she can live happily ever after. So if you enjoyed this video of this beautiful creepy crawly, Please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid, and we'll see you next time.